Welcome back. <clears throat> that shit didn't work. Yeah, that, that's staying on the podcast. <laughs> Welcome back to the Hoppy Time Podcast. I'm Lena. I'm Flames Kid. And I'm Chris Cass. And we want to just bring something to our your attention. Uh, we are we have been experimenting, trying to see different flows that we can have with the podcast. Um, we appreciate any feedback that you know anyone wants to provide, and a big shout out to Hugo who is one of our biggest listeners, biggest fans, and he's always looking out for us, and we appreciate any feedback that people have. Yeah, I know that the last couple of episodes have been a little weird, and there's been some good stuff and some bad stuff in them. Um, but yeah, we always appreciate any feedback. This season, we kind of we kind of want to grow, um, and the way we grow is obviously through feedback. So um, if you guys have anything good or bad to say about it, um, we'd really appreciate you guys just letting us know um, what you guys think, how we can be a little bit better, how we can, um, you know, obviously stay on track to grow. Um, at the same time, uh, we know that we haven't been as consistent as we wanted to. And it's just life. Life right now is kind of a little crazy. We're all over the place. Um, but now I think that we're in a good place to get back on track. I think, uh, you know, I'll let Lena talk about it. But, um, yeah, I think we just can be back on track. And I think that we should be good to go from now on um, and stay consistent because it's been it's been hard these last few weeks. So um, with this, we want to bring everybody up to date. Um, up to speed and we want to just continue to flow and, and keep growing um so yeah let's uh let's get started lena all right well today's my pick we kind of got a little off uh off our little um whoever who's whose week it is for the pick uh because we had some guests so on the last time and i want to thank hugo and, and abraham for being there um it's an interesting one as you hopefully have heard yeah that that's a it's an interesting episode <laughs> it was a very experimental episode oh yeah um but yeah so i i was literally like having a really difficult time with that class as excited as i was for it it just really kicked my butt i was not prepared for it i don't know what the hell was i thinking when i signed up for a five-week class in well five unit five-week class which was pretty difficult but all in all, I got through it. I stayed up so many nights very late and was very sleep deprived. I didn't have a life. So I apologize to people if I were MIA, um, like on social media or in general, just because I was so focused. I wasn't. That's why we, that's one of the reasons why we were delaying um, to release the episodes. <clears throat> sorry to release the episodes and to even record. I, I was honestly really busy and I appreciate these guys for uh, respecting that I needed to get my work done. And uh, we, we did definitely try to keep the podcast going. It just, because of uh, my schoolwork, I got a little inconsistent, but uh, I finished that class. I'm now in a new semester, which will be in 16 weeks and it'll be definitely less stressful. Um, so that's what, that's what Flames Kids meant by will most likely be more consistent. I won't be hogging up the computer and the internet and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I, I started this new class. Uh, I, I really like the professor so far, and I want to see how it goes. I think I'll be okay, and I think I'll be good. It feels good to get closer and closer to, you know, a, a career that I'll, I'll enjoy and be happy with and something that I really want. Uh, other than that, let's see. It was my mom's birthday yesterday. Um, her birthday is February 11. And um, it didn't go as planned, but we still got to go to dinner, have a great time. It was it was my mom, me, my little brother, and then Flames Kid and Chris Cass. So it was a small dinner, and uh, an expensive dinner. Eh, we've had worse. <laughs> we we've honestly yeah, have had yeah, worse, we, but have. we had a really great time. Um, Do I owe anybody money for that, by the way? Oh no, don't worry about it. <laughs> how many hundreds do i have to spend <laughs> how, how much was uh flames kids dinner oh, don't, don't you guys keep bringing that shit up we are never gonna i'm never Dude, gonna let that go most i've spent on a dinner ever. ever yeah well at least that i've seen because i know one of my birthdays we went pretty hardcore uh it was 21 people at lucille's yeah that's oh that's yeah not nah. cheap, though. damn yeah your, your mom your mom i'm i'm, I'm uh what's it called I'm astonished by how <laughs> your mom was able to keep all that together. Yeah, that was a crazy one. That was for my 21st. 
um we did oh a, yeah we did a whole, well, that's so. why it was worth it then yeah i yeah. hope at least it was worth it yeah well so you know we got to take her to go eat and it's funny we went to take her to the same place i was <laughs> yeah it's literally <laughs> the same place that. yeah so it was it was a fun experience I, I hope she enjoyed it and like i said i know it wasn't how she wanted it to go down but look in the end we all got to spend time together and we all got to uh have a great meal and just enjoy then we um after after dinner we had went to go walk it off at our laboratory of total wine and so that's why we're recording today i found some interesting beer that i want to give um a shot and um and just look into it more but we'll get into that okay um, chris cast why don't you tell us how you've been i've been great <laughs> who's next <laughs> that was uh, short i know you have more to say do i yes your life is so interesting please no, tell me more no, it's not. tell me more i haven't been doing much i've just been playing what pokemon arceus like that's gotten my full attention for like the past couple of days yeah so bad that your friends reached out <laughs> <laughs> to see what you were, where you were at. that was funny oh, yeah. that's right huh that was funny yeah so i basically went mia on my friends <laughs> um i don't know it's just like nobody was playing anything at the time i guess so nobody was like really um online most of the time and i guess at that during that time like i had like a bunch of free time it's like now i don't because we're doing things like every single day or i'm either at work or we got something we need to do yeah so like um yeah so i had no time before or i had no time like during these past couple days so i really didn't hop on and when i did have time i was investing that time into pokemon arceus Mm. well point is uh a couple of my friends got worried because they kept telling me like to get online they kept tagging me on discord and I was just like, eh, I was kind of like brushing it off, to be honest. But uh, I just didn't feel like turning on my computer. Like, there was no point. Like, I I didn't feel motivated to play any games on my computer. So it was just like, you know, I was just stuck in that rut, I guess. Yeah. But, you know, Pokemon Arceus, I, I literally could just come home and turn it on. I bought the game and I bought the controller because I was like, screw this. I'm not going to play with Joy-Cons. That's hey, retarded. Joy-Cons is fun. It's It's fun. But it's not comfortable for me. Yeah, same. What? I can, They're I, not comfortable. I, I, I like I can to have s- them together. I, I can't play with them apart. Yeah. I can sit somewhere and literally just play like this. Yeah, I can't I, do I know, that, bro. I know. It, to me, it feels weird. Like, my mind doesn't process it properly. Yeah. that's For uh, me, I have years of training in video games and leaning back is not the way to play them. <laughs> it, it, if you're playing that way, you're playing wrong. Yeah. It's like it's like one of my biggest pet peeves from the from the Wii was that they had the thing the cable that connected both controllers. Yeah. So oh, that yeah. was one of my, yeah, that was one of my biggest pet peeves cuz I couldn't separate them, but Well, you couldn't separate them anyways because you had to point the freaking controller at the That's TV true. That's the time. true. And and with the Switch, I could just lay back and and play it with, you know, the Switch. I mean, yeah. that that's what I like about it. No, I mean, like there's nothing wrong with that. Like I I, I respect that opinion, obviously. But, like, I just can't play it. It's, like, really uncomfortable for yeah. me. Yeah. Because, like, when I play games, like, in my mind, it's like, okay, like, I'm in this, like, go mode where I'm just, like, <laughs> I need to I need to be aware and attend at anything that happens. Yeah. yeah. So, like, if I'm leaning back, like, I don't feel that I'm doing that. So, I, you know, I bought the controller, I, which, ironically, if I lean back with the controller, it feels a lot better than leaning <laughs> back with the Joy-Cons. Because, like, with the, I, I don't know, man. With the Joy-Cons, if I'm leaning back and I have, like, on my chest, I feel like... I'm forcing my hands to be together, mm. you know, because I you have to hold like the yeah. Joystick. Well, yeah. for being comfortable at least for me, I, like I would have to have my hands like close to my chest, as opposed to a controller, I can literally just grip it and then let my hands fall to the side while I'm leaning back, and it does it doesn't uh, feel like I'm keeping my hands together. It feels like they're just naturally together, you know. <laughs> I don't know, man. There's just something about holding a controller leaning back that that I like playing games with. Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't explain it. <laughs> No, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, everybody has their way of playing. I mean, I'm not a much of a gamer, so that probably, you know, takes into consideration. But, um, yeah. Yeah, because um, there's this thing in, in the gaming world called the gamer pose. Yeah, I've heard so of that. It, that's, that's when, like, you're, well, you're not, like, really leaning back in your chair or whatever, but, like, you know, you're just playing relaxed. And then, like, when shit gets serious, you kind of just, like, stand up. You got you got to sit up. There you well, go. That's that, that, what it's yeah, called. You got you got. You oh, sit I, gotta, up. I gotta sit up for this one. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, when yeah. when we were playing like like games and stuff. Um, 
there was a, you know, you get to boss battles or something and you're like, oh, got to sit up. Gotta. Yeah, you got to focus. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to that's say. That's the stance. Uh-huh. So, like, I feel like when I'm leaning back and playing games, I can't get into my stance properly you know so anyway anyways um yeah i remember when uh i used to play destiny with with uh, a couple of my friends yeah um we would play like these uh ranked 3v3s well not really ranked but it was like their competitive mode where it's just like you versus the three other people yeah and um you had to get like nine consecutive wins it was basically like a little mini tournament but like anybody could join it and you so and what you, it was open to the public yeah it, yeah, well, it, it was part of the game. It was like, like a competitive mode. Instead of okay. having ranked, they had that. Okay. So um, so it was basically you versus three other teams. I'm sorry, three other people, and that was like a team. So um, we would spend like most of the time, you know, most of our weekends, because it, it, it only happened from Friday to, to Sunday. And we would spend like most of our weekends, me and my friends, just like grinding that thing and just like beating teams' asses. And like we were really coordinated at, during that time, but anyways, what I'm trying to get at is um uh, one of my friends, Tony. Uh, anytime like we would fight a team, cause no after after a certain point of us winning so many times every weekend, we just started taking it more casually. So we we would just do it out of habit, you know, like screw it, like it's the weekend, you know, it's called it was called Trials of Osiris. So okay. Like, let's, let's do trials. Okay. So we just did it. So every weekend we just did it. It was part of our grind. And then uh, we would fight team like we would just go into the games and do like be like whatever you know if we win we win if not we just start all over, and uh, when we would go into games and then like a team would be like super sweaty or super try hard against us like my friend Tony was like all right I gotta sit up for this one, and that's basically where I got like the the sitting up thing, cause like he used to say it and instead of like instead of like just doing it like he used to say like all right I gotta sit up for this one. and he said it every single time like he had to go try hard. <laughs> it was it was freaking funny man yeah but like ever since then it stuck with me and like since he said it i noticed what he meant like i did it one day i noticed myself doing it one day like just sitting up in my chair and i'm just like oh shit is this what he means by fucking sitting up <laughs> so yeah you know it was just like a little revelation but yeah man pokemon Arceus is fun everybody should definitely play it um it's really good it it's literally the perfect combination of an rpg and pokemon if you guys like Pokemon Go, it's basically the same thing. Basically, kind of ish. I stopped playing Pokemon Go a while ago. Yeah, I've been I was so busy. I never got to play. Yeah, but it, it's really fun. Like you guys should, should totally try. I know a lot of people are bagging on it because there's like no no um trainer battles that often. But uh honestly, the the way you play the game is a lot more different than the normal Pokemon games. It's because it's it's set in a time before uh, yeah trainer is. battles and stuff yeah so I mean I get it and I understand but yeah. it's just it's a really good way of incorporating a different way of playing Pokemon but it's still Pokemon you know uh, I still think they should make that Pokemon game that starts you at the fir- in Kanto and you know oh yeah hundred percent everybody's waiting for that I'm I'm waiting for them to like drop it like just. You know, you start off in Kanto and then you buy the expansions for like, oh, you get Johto for free and then you go to home. Nah, they're not going to give you shit for free, dude. It's game <laughs> They're money hungry at this point. Yeah. So, I mean, that would be cool. I, I, I've been waiting for that since like forever, you know. So, I, 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 ho- I was hoping that with the release of the Switch and because it's the more modern uh, system that they would do that, that they would release just like kind of like a blank game, kind of like just Kanto. Like you basically redo Kanto all over again. And then you buy the expansion pass for Johto, Hoenn, and then you just keep traveling. That's kind of cool. But, again, I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking. It's They're just money hungry. Whatever they can squeeze out of Pokemon, they're going to get it. <laughs> yeah. What else you been up to? Just Pokemon? Basically, just Pokemon. Well, what about, you know? What o- oh, that's right. We went to the Wonder Years concert. There you go. Yeah, the concert you've been wor- you were waiting for for the longest. Oh, yeah, I did. I was. I was actually kind of fun, even though I know we kind of left early. Well, you well, want it. Yeah, I know. To. It's because it's cause I saw, like, I was, like, singing the songs or whatever. Like, I entered and I would kind of look to the side, and you guys were kind of just, like, there. And I was just like, oh, oh we were enjoy- I was enjoying the show. Good show. Uh, I yeah. don't know. I, it just, it, it was, it kind of, like, it was, like, oh, like, you guys weren't excited as I was. And it was just, like, okay, it's kind of, like, a mood killer-ish. Not really. So, I don't, that's, how, that's how I felt, you know. I just felt bad that you guys weren't into the music like I was. And, like, at concerts, like, it should kind of be a part of the experience, you know. Well, I mean, 
we go as a group and it's not always a band that we all enjoy i mean yeah we, we did movements and it was my band and that's true Luis kind of knew them, but because I played them, and then you didn't really know their songs, so you were kind of there. But I mean, you just gotta enjoy That's it. That's true, but you, you but just gotta enjoy the, the, the moment. The VIP thing was kind of made it more enjoyable. <laughs> I would have enjoyed it the same if I were down there. Being yeah, no, you would have. Life. I probably. Yeah, I would have. I would probably hate these views. I would have said, "I'll wait, wait for me in the car." I'm glad I got VIP for that one because yeah, exactly. Yeah. See, so kind of the VIP thing kind of helps in that. I sense. guess. <laughs> I guess. Did you, yeah. guys, did you guys know that AFI was gonna be at the House of Blues? Yeah. And the tickets are 42 bucks. Yeah. Oh. I just want to say. I didn't want to bring it up. Because I was going it's, it's to it, buy one ticket and go it, by myself. It's because <laughs> it's because they're playing their new album. and eh. Their album's not that bad. Eh. Listen to it. It's eh. pretty good. All right. They, so They kind of still got it. So what? Pokemon Wonder Years. That's it. We also celebrated your birthday. Did we? Yeah. Was that not on the... No, that sir. Wasn't the last one. No, it wasn't because the last time we recorded was right before that. Oh, that's right. We we didn't talk about Angelus Crest and what happened. Oh, we didn't. We haven't. Oh my God, why haven't we? How? It's been that long. Have it's I been, been? How long have I been missing? Uh, like two weeks, I think. I mean, everyone else is behind. See, this is what happens when you just lose track of time and you yep. just don't know. You know, like you don't know what's going on and you're just busy every. It's only been day. a week and a half. Ah, uh, two weeks. It's been two it's weeks. Been two weeks. It's been two weeks. Oh, two weeks. Today, today. makes it two weeks. Two, two no, weeks. No, two tomorrow. weeks ago was two weeks ago is when we recorded with Hugo and, and Aiden. Yeah. Yeah. Two weeks today. It was yeah. Saturday. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, it's right, it's, it's right. basically two weeks of updating. Wow. So basically, it was my birthday, and we did our normal drive to the mountains, Angels Crest Highway. Um, we made it somehow, made it up the mountain. Sadly, not all of us made it down. Well, we all. Well, okay, made we down. we all made it the down, but some like some of them had a bumpy ride. Yeah, on by, the way down. And by bumpy, it's uh, it's pretty bumpy. But um, yeah, we just want to wish you know uh, our friends uh, who had a bad time coming down, um, just you know all the good luck in the world, and you know hopefully that everything works out in their favor at the in the end. Hopefully everything gets sorted for them. Yeah, because that was that was pretty bad. Yeah. 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 Um, scary i think scary is the least of that i think it was more than that it was it was definitely like life changing well yeah as in scary <laughs> makes you makes you think about stuff yeah anyways yeah um but the the drive was fun and i hope everyone aside from that had a good time um we also went to go eat for um for your birthday you were eating meat at the time oh yeah you had korean barbecue oh, we didn't talk about that either nope no Damn. Well, oh, we, we 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 might have we, we might have we might have actually we probably did yeah see it's been that long so we see, I don't even know what I talked about and what I didn't talk yeah. oh yeah wait I did because I mentioned the bottle right yeah I said thank you in the episode yeah, yeah. You, you told Hugo thank you for it yeah yeah oh yeah so we did talk about that okay okay you're right you're right yeah but um but yeah man anything else you want to talk about no I think I think that's I think that's it unless you guys want to give me drop me more hints. <laughs> Am I missing something? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think that's it, man. I think you got it all. All right, then I, I guess I guess I'll go next then. Um, yeah, it's, it's been pretty busy last two weeks. Um, yeah, it was Chris Cass's birthday. Um, we did that that whole weekend actually, and then it was Matthew's birthday, yep. uh, which is uh Lena's little brother. Yep. Um, then we did that that whole weekend. Um, we watched the Royal Rumble with Hugo, right. and uh, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> we spoke about that. Um, yeah, we did the the drive, and then it's been uh, for me. It's been work. Uh, even though it's been a little slow at work, um, I've kind of taken my time with my calls, and you know, obviously maximize on on every opportunity I get with my calls. So try not to just go in there and leave right away. Try to take my time and you know talk to the customers and see you know how things are working out for them, and try to give them some suggestions to obviously you know have better plumbing in their home. Um, obviously not all of them turn, you know, not, not all calls are golden, but at least knowing that I, I help the customer out is, you know, what makes my day. Um, other than that, uh, we did go to the wonder years. Um, the parking was kind of sketchy. I didn't, I didn't like it. I'm sorry. The venue was in a very, the venue was great. Place. Yeah, the, no, venue the venue was cool. Was well, the place it was in does not, not match. Cool. Yeah. It's and, very and, scary. and, and I'm sorry, Lena, I know we, we said we weren't going to bring this up, but the all gender restrooms is crazy. 
It's weird. It was weird. It's I'm I'm sorry. Like I mean, as long as that's all you say, just try not to be controversial about it. I guess. No, no, no. I mean, it was just weird. You know, we're not used to we're we're, we're we live in LA, but we're not used to seeing that on a daily basis. The thing is, is in my experience, I've seen uh, male and female or men and women. That's how they label them. Yeah. And then there was usually like one separate family restroom or all gender restroom. This one was full out stalls and. Yeah, it was and just everything. weird. It you was know? so. It was. It was the weirdest thing I've, uh, I've had to encounter. Um, it was. It was. It was weird. Like it was just weird because you're not used to it. Nope. Um. So yeah, that that was thing. But the venue was great. The the location was kind of sketchy though. Um. You know. Uh. But other than that, the the concert was great. I had fun. Um. All the all the bands uh, played a great set. Um. What else did we do? Uh, we took your mom out for for dinner. Yeah. Um, that was also great. Um, I think I think I th- I've just been busy with work lately, and just you know focused on that and and just trying to you know obviously stay ahead of the game. I'm doing some training in the upcoming week, so that's gonna be fun. Um, but yeah, I I think you know it's just been Lena's been busy with school. I've been busy with work. Chris uh Chris Cass has been busy with RCS. <laughs> Um, pretty much <laughs> yeah he escapes my grasp yeah um we're also kind of starting in the process of uh looking for a home um for right. those of the, for those of you that don't know we kind of rent in long beach right now um so we want to obviously purchase a home so we're kind of like starting that process and hopefully you know in the upcoming months uh we have you know at least uh some some sort of idea of where we'll be living or moving to um you know it's i think it's just that time i think we moved to long beach i hear it's great there it's uh, it's also very expensive (laughs) but i heard it's great (laughs) of course it's great um another thing is uh tomorrow we'll be uh having like a small super bowl party here at at the at the house and this is is technically super bowl weekend yeah yeah um so we're gonna have a small little super bowl party uh we're having hugo his brother and and a friend of theirs uh come through um, we're just gonna have a subway platter finally, <laughs> and uh, and we're just gonna enjoy the the game and you know hang out and you know do guy things. Um, hopefully the Bengals win, because it's not that I'm against the Rams, but I'm not just I'm just not gonna join that bandwagon. So I hope the Bengals win and uh, no. take their first no. uh, Super Look, Bowl man, trophy. Re- respectfully, I still think it's rigged. Of course, I mean they're playing at SoFi Stadium. You know, and it's the Rams. It's the same thing with the Buccaneers last year. The Buccaneers played at home. Buccaneers took it. It's the same same deal. Mm, yeah, yeah, I guess. You okay. know, and I mean, think about it. You know, LA has a lot to win from, has a lot to gain from this win. You know, obviously a championship, obviously, um, you know. Some damn respect. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> well, we also have the LA Chargers, so <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I was gonna say dignity, but that there goes <laughs> out the window too. Yeah, um, but I'm just happy that once Super Bowl is over and the halftime show, show airs, baseball season's back. <laughs> baseball, yep. and that, that's that's the time of the year where we drink most. Oh yeah, we. That, I think that's the time that we shine. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that's a prime those time are, of and, those are podcast. My prime, and prime I'm hoping days. that the MLB can you know obviously sort out their problems before spring season training begins. It's supposed to start. So we have, you know, obviously spring training and then the season starts. I'm very excited for the Angels. Um, I'm very excited for the team that we've able we, the the recruits that we were able to get um, during the offseason. Um, I'm very excited for all the pitchers that we've gotten, all the reinforcements for the people that are coming back from injury. I trout, Rendon. Um, I'm, I'm ex- very excited for this team because um, a lot of analysts have already said that this is a postseason team. So I'm hoping that this season they actually, you know, put in all their work and at least make it to the postseason. That's all I want. Just have them in the postseason competing in the postseason, you know. All right. Um, I wish the same thing for the Dodgers. I know the team was broken up a lot. Pretty bad. Um, But I hope that, you know, that it happens every year, man. <laughs> it really does. It happens every year. And every year they find some fucking magical way of spending money. I mean, coming back <laughs> <laughs> and getting some dubs. But nah, I mean, in all honesty, you guys always come back. Like whatever yeah. means it is, you guys always 
end up with a solid fucking team, man. So, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm wishing, not worried about them. I'm, I'm, I'm wishing the best for both teams. You know, obviously, I, w- I would love to see uh, a, D- a Dodgers Angels. Uh, oh, we're going. Uh, oh, postseason? postseason. Hell yeah, I would love to see that I in my lifetime. I want to see postseason twenty three innings, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm very excited for that. I'm very excited for uh, um, uh, baseball season to come back. Um, I'm, I'm not a big NBA fan. I'm not a big NFL fan. Uh, even though I like the Patriots, isn't, but uh, isn't the what is it, the conference around the corner too? For for NBA, yeah, yeah. it's March. It's, I think it's after March Madness. Mm. So um, I always thought it was in February. No, I think it's oh, it's after March Madness. It's after the the college thing. I think mm. I think it's like around April. Um, but yeah, I'm just very excited for that. Um, I kind of stopped following soccer already, so <laughs> um, I just you know I stopped following those teams. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm I'm very excited for what's coming. I'm very excited for this podcast. You know, we're getting into that. Um, you know, like you said, Lena, we're getting into that season where we're always drinking. We're, it's just sports season. Whoa, 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 don't say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so, it's just sports season, is what it is. We drink occasionally. We're we're like a summer <laughs> podcast, I guess. Yeah. So <laughs> it's spring podcast, and it's getting back to us. So no, we'll, we started in like July. The summer. Yeah, July. Yeah, summer, spring podcast. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm very excited for all of that. I'm very, uh, very excited for what's to come. I'm very excited for this year, actually. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of great things that hopefully can happen this year. You know, the year already started off pretty great for us, um, and we're doing good so far. Um, we're just hoping that it stays that way. Um, and yeah, just wanna, wanna do that. Um, so uh, Lena, what are we gonna be drinking today? Well, today, um, I found this pretty interesting beer. And I got I will admit, my mom is the one who kind of chose it. I gave her, I narrowed it down to like three. And she liked this one because she's a big Michelada fan. Um, but surprisingly, it's not a Michelada. It's just, um, it's just a beer. Well, it's a sour ale. Uh, so we're going to see with that. It's from Owl Farm Unique Fermentations. I, I think I think all the sour L's have been coming from you. <laughs> well, I, I try to steer from IPAs because we do them all the time. But it's hard because there's so many IPAs. And aside from it, aside from IPAs, you'll find like, um, you'll find like, well, sour, sour <laughs> L's or lagers. Well, but I don't yeah. know. For some reason, I, sh- I struggle to find other stuff like i see ipa everywhere and i'm like oh, we just did one i want to yeah i want to keep spreading our wings and you know recommending other things because not everybody's into that stuff so oh, that's true that's true and yeah. i mean I'm, I'm glad that you have that that uh view of things because you know not every, you're right not everybody likes ipa yeah. you know but i'm, I'm kind of surprised by this um because we had a conversation with abe here last week and he was saying that he likes food arranger now Oh, I know. And that was weird because yeah. he was the guy that said, oh, I don't like that stuff. Yeah, he was always like, no, nah, I'm that's good so with my That's so strong for Maldelo. me. Yeah, that's what he would say. Mm-hmm. Every time I would have an Imperial, he was like, oh, you like the strong stuff, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so it was it was exciting that, you know, because he was listening to our podcast and obviously trying the beers, um, it helps out a lot, you know, with his decision and trying new beers. And we're very excited for that because Abraham is not really the, one of the guys to like, Trying to like, get out of his comfort zone yeah. when it comes to drinking. Yeah, or so, he sticks else. to what he knows. Yeah, so I'm, I'm I was very excited to hear that from him, and you know I'm I'm glad that he's enjoying our episodes and enjoying uh, drinking new beers and I trying just, IPAs. I just want to know when I can get the keys to that 240. I don't know, man. That's uh, something you might want to ask him. <laughs> I mean, I've already asked him. He he says soon, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's he's like, kind of like, like a kid. He's kind of like me, yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah, he's kind of like Eli. He won't let me drive his car either. I don't know why. Why won't my friends let me drive their cars? I don't Boy, know. Boy, do I just lay at night wondering. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lena. Oh, so, but before we move on, I uh-huh. want to mention we we got our hands on Agent Seventy Seven from Voodoo Ranger. From Voodoo Ranger, yes, yes, yeah. ma'am. Yes, so ma'am. why are we drinking them? Ah, uh, because someone forgot to put them in the fridge. Wow. But we. So will. you're making me suffer. Making me drink this low tier Modelo. No, just kidding. Whoa. <laughs> it's not low tier. You're making me drink Modelo when I can have a Voodoo Ranger. Well, did you put them in the fridge? I know. No. Did you put them in were the fridge? They, were they mine to put in the fridge? Th- they were not mine. They just magically ended up in the cart. Technically, what did I buy yesterday? I know I bought the, the yeah. San Fernando IPAs. Yeah. Um, I bought the Agent 77. You guys want to go through the cart? What did you guys buy exactly? Wh- what did I buy for him, though? 
I bought uh, him tropical DNA. Oh, tropical I, DNA. That tropical one was DNA. really good. That yeah, really good. that was that was one of our picks for this season. And that was a that was a good pick. Yeah. So uh, I like the hell of high mango. Oh, I oh that it. one's good. I, I that checked, was good. I checked for it today at Walmart. Nothing. Not a yeah, that beer. yeah they didn't have any. I I checked too. <laughs> it was a pretty good beer. Those are good. Those are really good. <laughs> yeah, I love that flavor <laughs> was so. Bam. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I know I got you guys hooked on that one. Really, you okay. really did, man. You that, that was my pick. You messed yeah, up, man. I'll buy you more. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, Lena, what's the name of the beer for today? I'm sorry, you wanted to, or did you want to say something before? No, jump- no, no. We can jump. Well, we were already jumping in. Okay. Uh, it's called. We were already in this. There you a, go. We're. It's called, uh, Mango Tahine Goose. And oh, it's, like oh, I said, it's an actual farm. like craft beer can. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. By the way, no, no, that's okay, that's okay. But yeah, it's a, uh, it's, it's gonna be an interesting one. Oh. And then as it's funny because as we were checking out, uh, the cashier was telling us that it was just released on the second of uh this month, February. Of uh, February, yeah. yeah. Well, they they just got it in in stock. Oh, they just got it in stock, right? Yeah, right. But it's a it's a fairly new beer. That's why there's hardly any information on it. Well, well, we're we're hoping to try this out. Um, the name of the brewing company is what? Old Farm Unique Fermentation. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try this beer right now. We're gonna get into the crackening. Ah, uh, there you go. Um, and one last thing before we do that and we break off into this beer, I want to give a shout out to one of our listeners, uh, Pablo, uh, who just had his kid oh, not yes, too long ago. Yes, he did. His have baby boy his Ricky. Kid. So just yes. shout out to him and and, hey, and his family. Hey, bro, that's. That's my stuff. He called him Ricky. <laughs> Ricky! <laughs> Damn, Pablo. What was he thinking, my boy? I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> so just as a quick shout out to him and and, and, his, and his little family. You know, he's getting started. So I want to, you know, give that, you know, update to the listeners here. So, um, yeah, guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with the cracking. That was uh, that was very pleasing. Very, I miss this. All right, so uh, tell us a little bit about uh, uh, what we're drinking here, Kalina. All right. Well, uh, as I was mentioning, this is <laughs> as I was mentioning, this is a new type of beer, and um, so it's uh, on their page. It's a. Uh, th- by the way, before I even get to that, it was really, really hard to find anything on uh, online uh, for this uh, brewing company and beer. Um, I had to go find them on Instagram and then they posted their website. So I went to that and it says a little about us. Owl Farm Unique Fermentations was born out of the need for creativity and experimentation. Beer can be as varied as any cuisine. So in order to explore those possibilities we created a side brand without limitations or of boundaries besides the definition of beer itself a fermented alcoholic beverage with grain hops and yeast this broad definition allows us to explore new ingredients like the spiced tahine while exploring the use of bacteria such as lactobacillus Ha! I can say that because of my God, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> say it again. Say it again. Lactobacillus. And I'll mm-hmm. spell it without looking at. Nah, ah, <laughs> you looked at it. You looked at <laughs> it. Okay, no, right. it doesn't right. count anymore. Continue, continue. <laughs> With various additions of fruit to create to, to create new and exciting forms of beer. Um, so that's one thing that I found. Uh, there was another where it was just kind of mentioning. Let me see if I can find that one really quick. So it says about the that this is a delicious kettle sour beer that has the perfect balance of mango, coriander, flaked wheat, and of course tahine. Uh, make no mistake, this isn't a spicy beer, uh, just a n- nice kick at the bottom of the fruit goose. And um, yeah, that's about it. 
Uh, it's an it ha- contains the Mexican seasoned powder, which is what they're referring to, uh, the tahin. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so it says consists of grounded chili peppers, sea salt, and dehydrated lime juice. It is a five point seven percent alcohol by volume, and one IBU. Just one. One. Just one. That's Bullshit! All. Try that shit. Okay, hold on. I haven't tried it. Is it really sour? Try it. Whoa. Yeah, it's sour. <laughs> it's really sour. It's sour, but it's not bitter. bitter. You're confusing them. <sighs> You're right. I'm exactly. sorry. Exactly. I'm sorry. I always confuse those. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's a uh, it's a sour. Uh, I thought it would be more like one of those artisanal beers where it tastes more like tahini. Yeah. But this is actually a beer, and it just has like like it says that kind of kick. It, it has it has that hint of it. Yeah, it does. Like like after you're done with the sip and you put the beer down. And you kind of like let it linger in your mouth for a bit. It gives that aftertaste. It, you have that like that that weird aftertaste of like tahin. Like tahin leaves you, you know. This tastes exactly as what I thought it would taste like. <laughs> I am not even fucking kidding. Like what? Okay, I- explain that. It tastes like a sour with a kick of tahin. That's what it is. Well, yeah. No, no, but I'm saying like, like, like. When you drink a sour beer, like say you you take like a, you know, a sip of a sour beer or something, yeah. and then you eat tahini right after that, or like That's or like when they put like. tahini on your on, on the rim, rim, yeah, a little bit, because the tahini kind of just washes it off. But like, what I'm saying is like literally like putting tahini in your mouth and like, <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. you know, oh, you okay. take a sip of beer and then it's like, okay, you just, you just yeah, you just pour the bottle in your mouth. Yeah, it's it's like it's like you know when you like for example if we weren't drinking this beer and we we're just drinking a Modelo, and you drink the Modelo and then you have like a like like Chris has said uh, some powder of the tahini in your mouth in yeah. your hand and you eat it that's literally what the aftertaste of this beer tastes like yeah. because I'm right now even right now I have like a hint of the chili in my throat you know so it's it's not really tahini but you know it's it's just crazy how it's simulating that it's funny how to me it tastes like a beer where all i have to do is add clamato <laughs> the tomato uh juice and it's yeah. a it's a it's gonna be a michi a michi yeah for those that don't it's, know these would make pretty good michis yeah, for, yeah. For, for those that don't know a michelada is basically a beer uh tomato juice and a couple of other different things that some people add um some people add Wor- worcester sauce um others add soy sauce weirdly um, some people add um, the cl- the clamato juice and oh, yeah. um, clams and oysters. Uh, oysters yeah. yeah. So it, it's just a. Ver- yeah, it's, nah. yeah, it's the same thing I said. <laughs> it's actually really good. Yeah. My, yeah, aunt, nah. my aunt makes them with um, with oysters that were yeah, marinating in, in lime. Oh, it's so delicious. Yeah, lost me at that Worcester sauce. No, it's no, it's really actually good. pretty good. If it's you have good. if you have the michelada with the Worcestershire sauce, it's actually pretty good. I'm not a fan. I'm but sorry. the clams and shit, I'm not I'm not a fan of. Well, you don't I'm like sorry. seafood, so it makes sense. Yeah, but even then, even if I did like seafood, why would I want to mix my beer with seafood? That's what you do. That's what you do, bro. You what drink, are you talking you about? You drink beer oh with seafood. God, oh lord, that's man. not true. It is so true. That's oh, why lord. drinking is so big at San Pedro <laughs> Fish Market. Chicken is just big, period. <laughs> no, but it's meant to it's be... It's promoted there. It's meant to be drink <sighs> drink with... Seafood. seafood. It just feels a lot better. Like, tomorrow, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get some ceviche. I'm, I'm going to buy some. I want some. <laughs> uh, maybe... It was hot as hell today, it dude. It really was. Well, that, that's it what, was hot. That's why we went with Subway instead of wings. Because it, it's just hot as yeah. fuck to eat wings. Like, dude, like, really? Yeah. So Subway's a little bit fresher. Hey, so we eat fresh. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> no, no we're but not sponsored by Subway. <laughs> I win. No, we're not. But um, we just want to uh, for tomorrow for to eat with the guys here. Um, I ordered some Subway platters, um, and we just went that route because one, it's okay, fresh. Wait, wait, wait. You ordered Subway platter, but what am I getting? Tuna, tuna oh, Subway. Sweet tuna Subway platter. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get ten. Technically ten subs, so we were able to pick the flavor for all of them. Nice. So, um, yeah, we we get that all the veggies. Uh, well, not all the veggies, but some of the veggies on the side. Right. Um, but yeah, uh, that's why we decided to go there and not get. Well, I, that's why I decided to do that and not get wings because as much as I love wings during my Super Bowl, it's just hot as fuck right now, and it's like, yeah. you know, and, and we're in California, so we exaggerate when we say hot as fuck. You know, we're not Arizona or Texas where it gets hotter. 
I know. But it, for it, us, it hits, it hits 80, 90, and we're like dying. We're dying, yeah. And then it hits 60, and we all like suit up. Yeah. When it's, there's peop- people who live in like. Negative zero. Negative. <laughs> I mean, negative negative zero. Negative one. <laughs> All I know is that it was like 94 today. Yeah. Well, that shit was fucking crazy. And I was out there working. Oh, you know what I want? You said, um, what did you say you wanted? Ceviche. 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 I want um, aguas chiles. Aguas chiles? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we can, we can do that tomorrow as like a little, what we Mexicans call botana. And you know, fuck yeah, bro. Cause that shit with some beer will slap tomorrow. Yeah, that would slap. Cause I know it's gonna be hot. Yeah. Yeah, but um, but yeah, we we, we can do that definitely. Um, but oh, yeah. but also Subway, you guys are in a bet. How's that going for you? Oh, that's right. So so last podcast, me and uh, Hugo, we talked about um getting into a bed for three months, um where whoever lost the most body fat or body mass index BMI, um. The number whoever lost more of that, um, not weight because 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 weight can because <laughs> weight can fluctuate a lot, um, especially you could be a big dude weighing three hundred pounds, but you could be lean as hell, you and know, yeah. um, so that's yoked, bro. If you weigh three hundred, <laughs> what though? That is that, that is not lean as hell, bro. That is like fucking built. <laughs> <laughs> a 300 pound dude made of muscle dude count me the fuck out i am i'm out <laughs> never well, you get what i mean god man. damn man <laughs> shit we dealing with the hulk out here or something <laughs> you know what i mean but <laughs> but yeah we decided to do bmi instead which is um it's it's fair for both of us so what we did was uh we both weighed ourselves individually obviously in, in our own homes and we sent each other the the screenshots of uh of the results and we know we started the bed, and in in a month we'll check in. Um, but in three months, uh, whoever ha- would have lost the most BMI uh, would pay the other person three hundred dollars. So how are you guys calculating BMI? Uh, 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 smart, uh, Lena smart has a has a smart uh, scale. Scale. Yeah. That, that gives her the BMI. Um, yeah. That. So um, I mean, it, I can't. It can't say it's like super dependable, but it's pretty smart. Um, I've, yeah. I've I've enjoyed it over the couple last few years. I had. For three years or so, yeah. It, Can, can't you guys just divide the number you guys started with with the number you guys end with? No, you mean well, for weight. Well, it's just whoever has the lowest one. It's it's not the amount you lose. It's whoever gets the lowest. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So okay. Yeah, and mine was pretty That's high up there. So it's it, it's a tough it's a tough it's gonna be a tough battle. But I mean, three months is a lot of time for Shit. me to get into shape. That's hard then. It's not a lot of time actually. No, 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 no. no. I'm saying like it's it's a tough number to 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 drop down to. Well, you were like two weeks in. What the hell? I don't see no changes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, uh, you gotta sort of. I mean, in in at least the way I see it, I gotta sort of slow. I can't just no, go yeah, cold yeah. turkey and just you know from one day to the other. Okay. Fuck well, I it. mean that's how you win. But yeah, dude, if you don't want to win for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, His opponent is Hugo. Yeah, I, I think I got this. I think I'm gonna take. I this don't know him. that dude. If he's, he's if he, yeah, he's he, he very, has, very competitive. He wants to beat you for if, sure. If there is a sliver of chance that he will beat you in a bet, he will take it, and I'm pretty sure he know. is laughing as yeah. he's hearing me say this to him. <laughs> eh, he's not gonna take it. Uh, I get oh it. no! You'll take it to the extreme. I guarantee my win. I can I kind of. Uh, I wouldn't uh, say that. No. You're not doing anything to help nah, yourself bro. so far. Not yet. I'm sorry, bro. Not yet. If it He's comes gonna wait to for it. the last like month and do keto. I got five on Hugo. Ooh. <laughs> Damn. It be your own people. It be my own people. <laughs> yes, sir. You, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> it be your own people. No, but um, but yeah, we got that. <laughs> we got that bit with Hugo going. Uh, so um, we'll we'll see how it goes. He. He weirdly accepted that challenge. I didn't think he would he would accept it, but he's I'd, betting against you in something that he can actually try to win at himself. Yeah, he's gonna take that chance. Like uh, I said, well, he did that with bowling, but didn't and, work. Uh, bowling didn't work out I, exactly because he thought he could beat you. He could outplay well, te- you. Well, technically, nah. te- technically, he could have beat me. Unluckily for him, I hit three strikes that day, and I have never done that ever playing bowling. Yeah. No, exactly. Never. You know, like he took the bet because he thought, like, you he know what, chance. I can play better than him. I got a chance. Well, I got a real took good this chance. Bet hoping he had a chance. Well, exactly. Either way, that's the only reason he even accepted that bet. That's the only reason <laughs> he accepted this bet because he knows he has a chance of winning if he fucking puts his mind to it. 
either way, um, even if I lose, um, I'd still be happy because I would obviously I would have tried to lose weight, and and that's you know a path that I want to stay on right really? now. Really? Because I think you'd be happy knowing that you lost three hundred bucks and nothing changed. Ah, uh, no, that's actually not. That's not the case. I wouldn't be happy losing three hundred bucks and me not doing anything about it. I, I don't think. Ah, that's usually how it goes. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> that's usually how it goes man but no, yeah no. I, I, i'll try to stick hey to man it. more power to you dude honestly like you know i, I hope it, it works out for you at least in some sort of way when not if you have five on google that doesn't help <laughs> that's why i said at least it works out for you like you don't necessarily win but it, you know you get you gain <laughs> something from your it. own brother i know, I know. It, it's it'd be like that sometimes but um but yeah i think I think I think you know, like I said, we have a lot of good things coming for us this year. You know, slowly but surely. Um, you know, we I think we did our last concert for a while until August. So far, until August, I think. Hey, if something comes up, bro. In the next couple of months, I'm I'm, I'm buying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we already it. have a very eventful year planned. Yeah. Just because we have a couple of trips that are set solid. I've never. Ne- I've never not had enough time in a year to do things. <laughs> <laughs> you still have plenty of time. <laughs> but yeah, like uh we have a we already have a decent schedule um ahead of us. Yeah, I'm looking forward to a lot of things this year. Yeah. I might quit my job this year. <laughs> uh not with all these things coming up, sir. Uh, uh, You're gonna uh. need that cash. Oh well, they're not gonna give me all these days off. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only issue. I'll be like, I right, man, you know, I planned for this shit. If you guys can't take it, that's my two weeks, I guess. Damn. Well, yeah, The and the crazy part is is the concerts that are coming up are big-time concerts, you know? Yeah. The Killers, Iron Maiden. Uh, We have When We Were Young, con- uh, the festival. Yeah. yeah that's, oh, uh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that once we do When We Were Young, I think after that we'll be dead. Like, it, it's just going to be fucking insane. Yeah, that's the one that's going to just drain us. Yeah, that, that concert is going to be that's fucking... That's going to drain us. And and I know you've never been to the to the concert grounds in Las Vegas, but damn, dude, that shit's going to drain you. That shit's going to eat huge. you up alive. And yes, it's fun, very fun, but it's going to it's gonna torture I, you. I did Warp Tour. Ah, uh, Warp Tour. It's better think. than Warp Tour. Well, it's I, I, I Warp would Warp Tour so. on a fancier scale. With the think, amount that we paid, I it better be because think, I, Warp Tour was forty dollars. So if I'm paying, who knows hey, how man, many Warped times Tour more? Warp Tour was lit for forty bucks. It, yeah. Was, yeah, it was fucking. It lit. was a deal of a lifetime. Yeah. I don't know how they made any money. Well, that's but why it, they had to stop it. Yeah, I, I don't think it had much to do with that. It was. It was. Was it because it, like the the emo kids were grown already? No, it's just nobody was. I think it was hard nobody to find was, bands. Nobody was going, basically. Oh. Nobody was, like, they weren't selling out like they used to. Because Warped Tour used to be sold out yeah. in huge fucking places. Yeah. I've and been like, to a good couple of years, and it was always a blast. It was always insane. I nearly died at a few of them. It was memorable. <laughs> it was amazing. I know. I stole a couple banners. Yeah, you have to on the way out. No, like the actual plastic banners that they have. The, yeah, the ones on the gate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, ha- you saw those too? One of them. One year. Oh, shit. What, the, the year I drove my first time there. <laughs> we took my little Tercel. Nice. I took two years. And coincidentally, one of them was... Actually, was what was the last year they did a warp Tour? 14? No. 13, oh, right? No. 2018. 18. No, we no, no. Were... 18 was the comeback. That was the, like, the official last time. But before that, there was the last time that they were going to do it. Oh, I don't know. I think it was like 13 or 14. I can't remember. I went to 13. No, I went on after that. I went. The last time I went to was a 13 because I have the banners for 11. I was at 11. I think. I think 18 wasn't the comeback, was it? I'm not sure. That's why I'm asking. I know it was the 18th because I was supposed to go, but I had started my new job at State Farm at that time. And oh, I was with you. That's right. That's right. We went to the movies that night. That's right. That's that right. was the comeback year. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know about this comeback year, but uh, but this year is looking great. Look, yeah. man, there's a government warning on this. <laughs> According to the Surgeon General, women should not drink alcoholic beverages during pregnancy because of the risk of birth defects. Two. 
Consumption of alcoholic beverages impairs your ability to drive a car or operate machinery and may cause health problems. Sir, that's on every beer we drink. Yeah, that's every beer. No way. Yes, every beer. <laughs> no, uh, it's not on this Modelo. Yeah. It is. And if it's not, it should be. It is. Where? So oh my weird. god, according to the Surgeon General, women should not drink <laughs> alcoholic beverages during pregnancy because of the risk of birth defects. Two, consumption of alcoholic beverages impairs your ability to drive a car or operate machinery and may cause health problems. Damn, yep. you're right. It's on it's every a, it's on every beer can. So what is this is a disclosure? I mean, yeah, in a way. Holy shit. Yeah, I mean, they they kind of is have it to. that serious? Oh, what what is what does our future nurse say? What is it that serious? Is it is it that serious? Yeah, it is. Um, it's very delicate time when the baby is being developed, and if you're not at your optimal health, your baby won't either. Holy shit! Yeah, that's why like it's really sad to hear about kids being born addicted to drugs. Oh yeah, see that's messed up. And then there's like an actual, an actual like alcohol syndrome that a kid can have, where they have a lot of disabilities, um, because of the mom's uh, not taking care of herself. Damn. That's why it, like, it I mean, be like that not not like you're ever gonna find out or like personally, but I hope it as a woman being pregnant. Um, not that I know personally, but I've heard about all the. The, the medicine not medicines but like vitamins and uh, all of these things you have to take just to make sure you're at your optimal health Interesting. Uh, yeah to be very careful that the baby is grown properly uh, things can you know alter the growth of their lungs and they can have lung issues for years or for the rest of their lives or nerve damage um, brain damage it's very serious it's like a whole ass person being That's grown crazy. inside of you Damn. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, yeah, I mean, th- I guess that's why there's a, like a, a lot of different cases of like you know kids with birth defects because of you know neglect. Uh, yeah. No, well, <laughs> you know, in a way, it's true. It's it is neglect. It, it can a little be, bit, yeah. yeah. I, I, one thing that sucks is that a lot of girls are on birth control and they think that they're clear, but then they end up still getting pregnant. And then um, there are cases where, like, you know, they're still partying, they're still drinking, they're still doing what they do. And then they find out and it's like a little too late. The baby's already having some issues in the womb or um, has some bad genes that are going to affect their lives. And it, it sucks to find out that stuff. Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, I guess in a way that's why they put that. Uh, those labels. Those labels and it, that. It's kind of like uh, if you go into like a lot of uh, different buildings. I, I know even my mom's building, which is weird to say, <laughs> it has a sign that that this building contains chemicals that could be dangerous to pregnant women and children and all these different. They're probably things. talking about the paint. Well, I mean, the paint could have lead in it, just like they used to. Uh, but in general, like um, even asbestos, like that was that was a thing back then. It's still it's still a thing. Well, I mean, more back then, and they're finding out about now. So now they have to switch it out and clean it up. So, um, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty scary. I I was telling Luis that because you know he has baby fever, and I was telling him like it's so scary. Even in my class, I learned about so many different things that can go wrong, just like blood types. Yep. If your blood type doesn't really match. Um, like if if your, like like Luis, let's say if he were positive for the uh, Rh factor in blood. And and I were negative, the baby's cells can attack mine. It's crazy. Sweet. That's why like blood types are so <laughs> specific, especially when you're getting like organ transfers yeah. or donations. Oh yeah, because your body can neglect the transfer. Right, and then it'd be a, such a waste of a perfectly good organ. But yep. it, it's strange. more than just a blood type that has to match. There's other factors and other things that have to match in order for it to. Uh, have minimal complications but anyways yeah Weird. we we went on a on a very big tangent right there. sorry you no, asked, no you asked no it's ner- fine n- dr nurse crystal dr nurse dr crystal. nurse crystal <laughs> 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 
Nurse Dr. Crystal? No. Uh, Dr. Nurse Crystal. Thank you. It's technically Dr. Nurse Lena. Oh, sorry. Yes, Lena. Crystal Lena. Mr. Professor Patrick. <laughs> 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 oh, Dr. No. Mr. Professor Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. SpongeBob. Man, SpongeBob is great. I'm sorry. Such a great episode, <laughs> man. Uh, we should get into the artwork of this uh, beer. I, th- I thought it was pretty uh, cool, and it's definitely one. It's to a call mango your attention. salting itself, basically. Well, that's what it is. It's Wait, it's a mango salting himself? Yeah, yeah. it's He's a mango seasoning himself. himself. Yeah, uh, yeah, seasoning is a better word. Actually, oh, I think that's tajin, right? Yeah. He's oh, pouring yeah. himself. That's yeah. the point. Mm, mango and tajin. It's apparently it's mango and tajin goose. Yeah, I was reading that. So it says, Dose. No, it's Goosa. No, Goosa. Goosa. Goza. Goza? Goza. Goza. I'm going to go with Goosa. Goza. No, so, Goza. It's Goza. You want to read it? Uh, yeah. Uh, it says Goza. Pronounced Goza. <laughs> you should have said Goza. Hey. Oh, my God. It's a beer that originated in Gosler, Germany. Oh, it's German. Um, it is usually brewed with a high percentage of wheat. Dominant flavors in Goza. Goza. Wait, it's, yeah, it's Goza. Yeah, Goza. Include a lemon-like sourness, coriander, and a strong saltiness. Mm-hmm. We decided to change things up by using the Mexican seasoning tahin instead of salt and by the addition of mango juice. Yeah. Damn. Mango tahin. That's why it sounds bad. I got some mango juice in meat. here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good. good. It's pretty good. I, got that I cool feel mix. like the flavors are really, like, fresh. It's, it's not that. I think they, they just really... They're really vibrant, so they really stand out. Like, you it's take... Like, you, boom, right yeah. in your face. Yeah, you take the, like Boom. the saltiness. You can taste it, but the saltiness a lot of the times comes from the tahin. Yeah. Like if you have the tahin on the rim on the rim of the beer cup that you're drinking, it's usually very sour. Yeah. Like it's 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 a good sour, but it's 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 sour and salty. Yeah. And that's usually that that's the taste that I'm getting from this beer. Yeah, you're right. It's it's definitely not spicy. I feel like a little kick to spice would help. But yeah. like I said, it's almost like michelada ready. Yeah. All you need is the clamato, the tomato juice, and I, I think I just like the saltiness taste. Yeah, it, it's addicting. I I almost finished it. I just wanted to have. A <laughs> I'm already finished. I'm I'm almost done with it. Yeah. Damn, am I the last one to finish with it? Then? Yeah. What? Any, a, any last thoughts before we get into the rating? It's pretty good. Yeah. Yep. Genuinely. I'm very surprised because it's pretty good. Your previous sour pick was not the greatest. Sorry. <laughs> or the one before that. Hey hey hey. But 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 let me finish. Um, I'm, I'm gonna let you finish. I'm gonna let you finish. Watch it, bud. Okay, Kanye. Down to two twenty two twenty two twenty twenty two. What? Two twenty two twenty twenty two. Yes, sir. Oh my yes, god. Yes, sir. Down to two, and Kit Cudi's not on it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's beside the fact. Go ahead. What you were gonna say? <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> I didn't know he did. Hold up, though. I'll, I, 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 can, I got this. I can fix this. Yeah, but see, I fixed it already. Um. This sour one was actually pretty good. Um, it's not like your other picks. Um, and I'm not saying they were horrible or bad or anything. <laughs> but, you know, compared to this one, I mean, I think this is like our third sour, if not fourth. Um, yeah. And it's actually pretty good. Um, it, it Yes, it is a little sour. Um, but, I mean, if our listeners can take sour, I mean, this is probably the beer for you. Um, I think it's great. And, you know, I don't want to give out too much details before we get into the hoppy rating. But I think that um, this is definitely something everybody would want to try at least once. I think this is a Pretty beer good. I would love to drink while eating seafood. It's one of those. It has On that lemon kick. On a hot ass day like tomorrow. Yeah. <gasps> oh, no. Are we making another run? I guess so. To no, the we're not. Lab. To the lab? Huh? To, you mean to HQ? To the lab. Why to the lab? To the the HQ is better. Because I, I dubbed it the lab. Oh, I'm sorry. To the lab. <laughs> All right, Lena, happy rating. Start us off. Uh, happy rating. Um, I want to give it an eight. I like it. I think it is beginner friendly. It is a little sour, but I think because of the familiar taste to Michelada, it might be good to get used to the sourness. Um, I think it's good. At the at the rating for. Um, alcohol by volume is is decent it's uh what was it a uh, 5.7 yeah and it, i think that's you know it's good it's more than like uh store-bought uh majority of store-bought beers yeah um, like i said it's a great introductory beer yeah um i like the flavor the mango is good it's not too sour 
Um, it is sour and salty, but it it's something that I would just love to. You could pair it with something really, really well. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go with an eight. Okay, not bad, not bad. What about you, Chris Cass? I'm gonna go with a seven point five, but not because I hate it, but because it just doesn't make any sense to rate it higher, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the way I see it. Yeah, I mean, so I'm going to kind of take that into consideration now when I do my ratings. So I don't have to keep saying it. But, um, yeah, I'll give it a 7.5. It's um, it's good for me, or, or it's good to me, because I eat tahin regularly <laughs> just by itself. Like, I eat it like candy, even though on the label it says this is not candy. I eat it like candy. I should probably stop. That's a lot of sodium that I'm Pretty consuming. Much, yeah. But, I mean, I don't do it too often. I probably do it, like, once every, like, I don't know, a month or two. Okay. Yeah, but anyways, um, this beer kind of tastes like I'm eating tahin. So, if you can, if you can consume the damn thing and not complain about it, you will enjoy this beer pretty much. You know, I'm not saying that if you can't do it, it's going to be bad for you. No, it's it's still got a good taste. But if you can eat tahin like literally just like right out of the bottle or whatever, the whatever little shaker you want to call it, um, you'll probably enjoy this a lot. But I mean, other than that, I, I don't think I have much else to say about it. The, OK, I, I can. Barely taste the mango in it, but you know it's the hint that kind of helps the the taste of it. Um, but you can definitely taste like the saltiness or like the bitter, or sorry, the the sour in the in the beer itself. Okay, okay, that's a good one. Well, I guess I'll even it out and I'll go with the seven. Um, the reason I'm going with the seven again, same reason I've gone with numbers, you know, in the past. Um, I can't rate it higher than something I like, but I did enjoy this beer beer very much. Um. For me, um, it kind of says it in the name, um, fermentations. It's kind of it kind of tasted um, fermented. Yeah, fermented. Yeah. Um, for sure, it tasted like that. Um, even though it's a sour, I never tasted the mango, but I did taste the tahin, the saltiness, um, and the sourness. Obviously, um, it was great. At least for me, um, like like Lena said, I think um, this beer would be a lot better with maybe with the michelada, or paired up with something else. Um, but by itself, it's kind of like, uh, you know, it kind of needs something to complement it. Um, it's, it's a great beer. Don't get me wrong. But I think, yeah, as far as like drinking a four pack of this by yourself, I don't think anybody's doing that. Um, I think this is like better. I might do it. <laughs> I think it's better, better to be paired off with, uh, with some sort of plate or food or anything like that. Seafood, so, baby. Seafood, yeah. Yeah, seafood. Seafood is usually the case. I mean, mango is is known to be paired with seafood a lot. Yeah. So, um, I that's what I would do. Um, the beer is great. It tastes great. Um, at least for me, I it's probably one of the few sour beers that I actually like. Um, it's not fruity. It's not. It's not overly trying to be sweet. Um, it's just there. Like it's it's just spot on. Um, their use of tahin for this beer was really great. Um, it was used very well, actually. Um, sure, and I want some tahin right now. And I, I think, I think that um, maybe, like I said, pairing uh, these beers up with something else uh, would make them obviously a little bit more perfect. Um, but with that being said, I enjoyed this beer a lot. My seven rating stands, um, and because of that, our overall rating is a seven point five. So it that is a about right. yeah. So it, it is a good enough beer. I, I agree with that seven point five. I think that um, it's not a bad beer. It's not one of the worst ones we've had, but it's also not up it there. Is, it is It is. something nice to, to tell your friend, like, hey, you know, you might like this. Yeah. You know, yeah. It, it's yeah, it's an option, basically, is what definitely. I'm trying to say. Definitely. So, I mean, I, 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 can, I can appreciate that. And, um, yeah, I, I think that this beer is, uh, is uh, it's definitely a go-to, uh, but I don't think it's a, it's a beginner-friendly beer. I think if you know if you if all you've drinking all your life is like Coronas, Bodelos, or any of those like beers that they you know you can buy at a liquor store, that would actually kind of be a good excuse to try it at least. I would say I would say you know give this a try. It's not it's not a hard taste right off the bat, but it is something you can uh, 
you can easily uh, uh consider. Nah, not consider. Uh, you, you can easily uh get used to. I don't want to say digest either, but uh consume. There you go. You can easily consume. Yeah. Um, you know. Well, I mean, you can't really compare them. That's, no, that's no, 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 I think no. that's a, that's one of the issues with rating the beers is there are beers that are meant to taste a certain way and then there's beers that are not. Like lagers definitely. are definitely smoother. They're Less alcohol percentage. Compared to stouts, yeah. Uh, triple IPAs are very smooth, even though they're very high in alcohol content. Yeah. Double IPAs oh, are dude. very strong. You got to try that stout. Where's that extra freaking bottle? I think it's over there. Right Where? there. Oh, okay. You got to try that. That's actually pretty good. All right. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and try that next time on, on the podcast mm-hmm. as, a, as our chaser. And probably Agent 77. Yep. Oh, yep. yeah. So we can For let sure. you guys know how that goes. Yeah, because uh, apparently Voodoo Ranger wants to play hard to get um, and message us and tell us that, uh, you know, I told him, well, we want merch. And like, oh, we'll check out our store. <laughs> yeah, Voodoo Ranger, that's not going to fly. That's not going to fly. Yeah. Well, I, uh, basically, the beer I'm telling him to try is um, called Sobreria. Okay. So, uh, uh, wait, I'm pronouncing this shit wrong. I, Soberbia. Soberbia. There you go. I, I knew I was saying it wrong. Anyways, it's from um, Capital Pecado. I kind of like the name of that brewing company. Okay. It's cool. Uh, this is one of the beers that Hugo gave for me for my birthday. Okay. Because uh, he knows that I like stouts, and obviously it's a stout. It's an imperial stout. And then uh, it it's a really crafty bottle. Um, There's some words at the bottom that say, Aquí se vive a sangre fría. And basically it means... So here we live in cold blood. Yes, here we live in cold blood. Yeah. Um, cerveza artisanal. Artesanal. No. Artesanal. Artesanal. Okay, my yeah. bad. There you go. See, I, I can't. I'm very Spanish wrong. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of. It, it was a really good beer. It was really smooth. Um, definitely, Hugo, if you can get your hands on more, I would love some. There I don't know go. how you're going to do it, dude, but you, you got to get me more. Anybody that would down. like a stout, this is a. This is a really good one to start with. Or if you guys want to try it or, you know, it's a really good all-around stout. It has the stout flavor, but it also has a smoothness. You okay. Because stouts can be hard or they can be smooth. Okay. And this, I think, is, like, a really good taste. And, Lena, you can try it next time. Sweet. All right. Well, guys, Lena. Well, guys, it is that time. We're going to bid you what to do. I uh, hope you had a great night. Always drink responsibly and drive safely and don't drink and drive and all of these other things surgeon general warnings Just be those are person. very important now <laughs> yes well they are they've yeah. always been oh well, now they are well, if not, they're not, on the can i i hope so not, been important. another part of the podcast so part we gotta bring this up every podcast so now we no. have to say that like don't drink while you're pregnant and don't just drink surgeon. and drive oh we already said the drink and drive part so yeah. all we have to do is just add, don't drink while you're pregnant Alcohol makes you impaired. You should not drink and drive. She sounds so drunk right now. And you should not operate machinery if you're not feeling up for it. <laughs> <laughs> you have been around way too many drunk people. You you can play that off really well. <laughs> you you know that? really can. That sounds really good. Oh, yeah. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be here all day. <laughs> okay, whatever. All right. <laughs> well, well, I'm gonna bid you adieu. I've been Lena. I've been Flames Kid, and I've been Chris Cass. And next week is my pick. Yes, sir. Yes, oh, good God! There's right. something else I got to do. There you go. To add more That's to your so agenda. Spare. There you go. Ooh. All right, guys. Have a good night. <laughs>